Rise from your grave. Hey everybody, welcome to Diver. FNL presents Diver, that is. I got a private message from somebody by the name of Adam Freeman on the Quake1.com forums recently. Um, he had released this new game called Diver, and it's actually built, believe it or not, off of a, a Quake engine called Dark Places, which, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty advanced engine. It makes Quake look beautiful, and apparently you can build some pretty cool looking games out of it. Uh, Adam and his crew, I guess uh, they specialize in making games uh, through Dark Places and, and Quake engines, and uh, this is uh, this is their newest, which uh, I, I feel like it's probably one of the biggest departures from Quake that you can get, you know, actually playing as a diver, diving into different areas. Um, you'll notice here on the title screen that we have a rotating key and a dancing treasure chest and that, that is pretty much the complete objective here. Like it pretty much shows you what, what you're doing. You, you are trying to collect a key and find the treasure chest at the end of every level. Um, and actually, uh, playing through the few levels of this that I did, I, I think it's a pretty cool little game. So let's, let's jump right into it and uh, show you what it's all about. So every level starts this way. It kind of gives you a, a little map and then it uh, takes you around the map to show you what you're in for. This first map here is called The Arrival. There really isn't much to it. Uh, it's pretty much just to get you familiar with what you're going to be doing, uh, minus finding uh, the treasure chest here. So you get this um, uh, treasure chest or, or list of moves that you're going to have available to you throughout the, the game here. And uh, divers, uh, so far for me, it's it's been mostly about the uh, the exploration, and I love the cell shaded look here that we have. It's it's pretty cool. So up here it'll tell you you know shifting around what you can do, different controls with the mouse and keyboard, and we want to go this way. So you notice that we are now collecting gold. When you collect this treasure, you can use it in the shop later on. But the shop seems to be closed at the moment, unfortunately. So we are going to move on. Again, uh, just wanted to stress like how cool I think it is that we're playing right now in a Quake engine that looks like this. This is pretty awesome. It's just a fun-looking cell-shaded game. It reminds me of old uh, 3D platformers from the 90s, like a Super Mario World or, or a Croc, you know, something of that nature. Here we go. You can ignore the ladders and just go for it. It's cool octopus doors. I like them. And that is uh, pretty much the first level here. And we can't jump off into the water, but look how pretty that is. Love the way the water looks in this as well. Introduction text, uh, in my opinion, though, a little hard to read. I don't know if that's more of a, a Quake Engine limitation or what, but yeah, it's uh, kind of hard to read, I would say. We get a little view of fish swimming around here. This is going to show us where the treasure chest is. So let's jump in. So I would consider this your real first tutorial level. Um, the other level kind of gives you an idea of what to do. You're just collecting gold, really. Um, but you'll see here you, you got this, uh, this cool waterfall. Fun reflections and everything. Cool trees everywhere. And we, can, uh, we could immediately go down here and start swimming and looking for stuff, but we are ill-equipped. We do not have what we need. I love that effect though, like the mask comes down once you go underwater. That's a fun little effect there. 
But yes, we, we are ill-equipped, so let's collect this gold up here. And follow our way up to uh, where the shop is. Definitely, definitely need to get something at the shop here. And what is that, you ask? Well, is it ammo? No, that'll that'll come in later. How about a uh, first aid? No, we're good on first aid. Oh my God, who is that? As you approach, I love this guy. <laughs> this is Bob. He says hello, diver. I'm your shopkeeper, Bob. So over here, you basically. You can look at all the different items that you can purchase. I, I, I love this aspect of it, too. And uh, Bob, I think, is a, a great shopkeeper. I think he's so cool. This little octopus in a diving helmet. How could you not like that? So, one thing that you're going to uh, find when you're underwater is you, you, you have a stamina bar, and you're going to have to eat fish while you're down there to keep it up. Uh, that'll make more sense once we're actually diving. You are going to get weapons, you can get ammo, and of course you're going to need first aid every once in a while. So you'll see in the bottom left, I have a couple bars there, the red and the green. The green is your stamina. So right here, we can actually hit E, and we got the tank. However, if you hit H while holding over these, it'll tell you what they do. So free air, we actually get this uh, air tank here for free our first time through. So very helpful. These are uh, better air tanks that you can buy later on. Airtime 2 minutes, airtime 60 seconds just to give you an idea. The double tank, airtime 7 minutes. So you're going to be getting these in the harder levels. Armor, you know, you're going to need that at some point. Food, as I was just explaining, first aid, weapons, all very important things that you're going to need at some point in the game. So let's uh, let's move on and let's, let's get to our first uh, treasure here. But yeah, I, I gotta say, I love the feel of the shop. Love the feel of the shop. The other thing I'm a big fan of in this is the music. I love it. It feels like it's just casual diving. That's what it feels like. This game, I don't know. It just has that weird like. I don't know how many of you actually played a lot of CD-ROM demos from PC Gamer magazines, you know, back in the '90s. But this is what that feels like. This feels like you're loading up like a fresh '90s game. Um, and that's my initial reaction when I loaded it up. It, it, it felt like something uh, exciting because as an indie game, most of the time when you load them up, you don't know what you're getting into. And I think that's part of the excitement of indie games in the first place is when you load that demo up or, or that level up, you just don't know what to expect. And this was definitely that instance. All right, let's, uh, let's jump right in. Check this out. Woo! And we're in. So we got our little knife here, and you can actually get at fish, and you eat them up. You see that my green bar on the side there? Oh, gotta get him. There we go. That is rising. That green bar is rising. It's going back up. And if you hold space while you're underwater, you go a little faster, but it uses up air and stamina and, and everything. So you gotta be careful using that a lot. But we'll kill these fish. There we go. We're back at full green. So this first tutorial level is pretty easy. It tells you plain Jane. Boom. That's the key. So we got it. So now we got to find the treasure chest. Oop. Don't, don't want to die, though. We need some fish, though. No, I, I think we're okay. I think we're just running out of stamina. We're okay. I guess that would be another one of my uh, critiques on this, though. Is, as fun as the game is, uh, some of the, the visual stuff, like the UI stuff, is a little... Um, I, I would say it's a little uh, confusing as to what everything stands for. Like, I would say that the blue is probably your air, you know? The red is your health. The green is your stamina uh, for your food. And it looks like... You're, actually, maybe this is your stamina. As you hold spacebar, the light blue one on the right side goes down. So, air supply will expire soon. So let's let's grab this. We got it. Okay, we emptied it. And I'm just gonna rush up because we're running out of air. But normally that falls right now. There we go. We need to rest a bit. See, it's letting you know you gotta rest. So it's good that it lets you know. Um, but yeah, I find I find the UI of it to be just a, a little bit confusing. 
Um, but it, I don't think it takes away from the game because it, 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 again, as a 90s game, I, I feel like a lot of those games were, were they weren't so self-serving back then. Um, they weren't, they, or I guess self-serving is the, were, were, uh, the wrong way to put it. They, they weren't so like hand-holding, we'll say. Uh, you kind of had to learn the game as you were playing. So, I mean, if we go into the, the menu here, let's see. Like, if we go to the options, let's see. Controls, obviously we can see our, our controls again. We can find out what exactly what does what on the keyboard and whatnot, and that's good. Uh, the first time I played this, I, I was a little confused by the controls, but it looks like things have been updated. It looks like things are going well in that respect. And, you know, we're, we're going to turn the sensitivity up here because this is something I forgot to do. Um, I personally am not a big fan of motion blur, but I didn't really notice too much motion blur. The damage blur might be a little bit too much for me, but I'm going to leave it on just for this demonstration here. Uh, we got effects. So eventually you're going to see snow and rain and that kind of thing. Particle quality. Let's put that on high. Of course we want cell shading on, right? Of course. Let's go back. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I don't see... Is it in game? I don't see... Uh, let's see, level selection, options... There is a level selection. Okay, so this is where we're at now. We're in the introduction. We're about to head to the, the greenhouse. Obviously, we can't go there yet because we haven't reached it. Um, hmm. Okay, these are your credits. We can take a look at those in a little bit. What I was looking for in the options was like a help menu to kind of point out what exactly everything on my screen means. And that's a good thing to use in this day and age. Because when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at everything on the bottom. You know, it's, it's obvious that everything on the top, uh, top right, you got your knife, you got your money. That's obvious. Um, but the, yeah, the stuff on the bottom, I, I'm able to figure it out. It's not too big of a deal, but... I don't know if that stuff needs to be called out a little bit more or labeled, but anyway, we're, I'm rambling here. Let's move on. Level complete. So here it goes over everything. Ooh, sharks killed. There were no sharks, but I'll let you know there will be some. The greenhouse. Morning. First things first. Let's shop. So first things first, we gotta go to the shop. But as you can see, if we go to level selection, oh no, we still can't go to the introduction. Why not? I don't know. Let's collect some gold. A little secret area here. Now, if you go this way, you'll find a few gold coins. And you'll find, oh, there's the treasure chest. But we cannot open it yet. We do not have the key. So where do we find the key? I'm not sure yet, but our guide has told us we need to go to the shop first anyway, so let's hit the shop. Collect all the gold I can before we head in. Okay, we got 36. Let's go in. I am going to grab the big tank. There we go. So every time you start a level, you do need to grab yourself a tank. Because it looks to me as though you do not start with one. So collect your gold, grab your gear, get to diving. Or a fish. So here we are, we got some plants. This way. Oh, oh, we want to watch out for the electric eel. Oh, he's getting us. There goes our health. So our red bar is going down now that we're being shocked. Let's zoom out of here. Let's get away from that eel. It's dangerous. Okay, we got some, uh, some more gold here. I don't believe gold carries over between levels either. So when you get a bunch of gold, you might as well just spend it up. Need some help? Go buy it. Got this one here. Whoa! The waterfall's taking me. That did not happen in the previous level. <laughs> but I like it. Alright, let's dive down. Eat 
that fish and eat you up too. There we go. And you. It's a big fish right here. And up we go again. Oh, but wait a minute. Where are we? There are landmines. Let's avoid these. Keep away from these mines. I would say we're doing pretty well. Keep him away from the mines. Down we go again. Diving just a little bit deeper. Here. Where are we? Looks like we're back in the barn. This way. Found the key. It's right outside the window. <laughs> Who would put a key there? It doesn't matter. We got it. Let's run our ass back over to the treasure chest. We got it. See, that's another interesting there, uh, thing there too. This is your your stamina. You're running, right? But it doesn't appear as though there's a stamina bar on the the normal screen here uh, without the helmet on. So you'll run, and it'll tell you like, "Hey, you gotta rest," but there's no bar telling you, which, which really isn't that big of a deal. I mean, who cares, right? But just uh, for the sake of UI stuff. Here we go. Look at that. On 107 pieces of treasure, we're doing good. Doing good. So I don't know how much of this I actually want to show off, just because it would seem to me. Oh, this level looks cool. This is one I haven't played yet. I've not played Undercover yet. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know how much of this game I actually want to show off, because it doesn't look like there's a ton of levels. Um, yeah, if we go to level selection here... Okay, so we're on Undercover, and that's four levels in out of the... Let's see... Looks like nine. So we got nine levels all together. I don't, I don't want to ruin this for anybody who's going to jump in and play more of it, so let's just play through this one and we'll call it. Alright, good idea. We'll get some cash together. Really like the beginning of this level though, the way it works. Or uh, rather, the uh, the way it looks. I guess the way it works is fine too. But yeah, I really like this like sewer look and everything. You tell, a, you know, a lot of work, a lot of care went into uh, the look of this game. And I think that's really a, a big part of the reason why, um, while playing this, I, I just have like a, a good gut reaction to it. Some eel was getting at me. Where is he now? Oh well. I'm just gonna get the big one here and call it a day. Oop. Caught. There we go. We need an explosive for the red door? Okay. Where can we... Oh, screw you, eel. Look, I'm almost dead. Yikes. Oh, boy. Oh, man, I cannot take that effect. I'd rather die. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, eel. Kill me. Oh, man, I do not like that. It's uh, making me kind of kind of woozy, kind of sick. There's the eel. Here I do. I, I absolutely need you to kill me. Please. Okay, good. You are dead. <laughs> Press any key to continue. There we go. Alright, let's 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 restart here. Whew. Yeah, I... That, this might just be a personal thing for me. I am not a fan of, like, motion blur and, like, um, characters moving when they're running. That kind of thing. It just... It, it honestly makes me a little sick. Uh, that right there already made me, like, a little nauseated. And uh, <laughs> as much of a wuss or a wimp as uh, you might want to call me for that, yeah, that is that is just something in gaming I immediately turn off when I'm playing it. Motion blurs, poof, right off. 
But I wanted to show it off in the in this game. I, I do think it's an impressive effect for an indie game. I think it's cool. But it's just something I can never use. I, I wish I could tolerate it. I really do. Here we are at the shop. So we can run around the water here, but there's nothing to really pick up. There's a big thing of gold there. Should give us enough for an explosive and a tank, right? Right? Or do we already have the tank? Maybe that's another thing the, the game might need a little bit of, is like inventory management. Maybe that's something I'm not seeing. Is that something I can... Let me take a look here. Options, controls... No, but I did see something there. Okay, see, so okay, this is, this is good. You can hit X at any time to bring this up. I did not know that. And maybe that's my fault for skipping past it. Maybe that was at the very beginning, but um, I had no idea that I could just hit X on the keyboard and boom, this would pop up. So that's very helpful. Uh, so, you know, it shows your default keys and all that, that kind of stuff. Um, do, 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, good information to know, for sure. Okay, so we want to do H. Harpoon gun, spear gun. Oh, exploding spears. Perhaps that's what we need. But, uh... Let's see. What I was looking for was something about inventory. Like, if I buy these spears, for example, Am I going to see them show up in where? Like, I do see ammo right there. But how do I know that I have a tank that I can swim with? Alright, let's buy the exploding spears. So I bought the spears. I guess that's all we need. I, I would assume we have a tank, because at the beginning of this I was swimming, so... Let's see what happens here. And how do we select the spear? Really like this area, by the way. These bricks. These cool, like, underground sewer bricks and everything. Really liking this look. The pipe here and everything. This is great. Let's see. So, X. Uh, da, 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 da. So, switching between ammo or weapons just. Out of regular spears, explosive spear ammo. Okay, I got the knife. There's the ammo. So, how do we use the spear? Fires the left mouse button. Q is to aim. Alright, well I know that I got my ammo selected correctly because you can see the three show up there and that's my explosive spear ammo. How do I get it to show up like that's what I want to use? Mini air tank test activated. What did I do? Swim, run. Interact scoreboard. What's the scoreboard look like? Ah, okay. So that keeps track of everything. Just like uh, you would with Quake, keeping track of your frags and whatever else. Secrets, if you're playing uh, single player. Let's go back here. Show HUD info, which is what we're doing now. We have a flashlight. Ah, I like that. Did not know that was available. But that's cool. Help key. Alright, so... Maybe this is just me. Like, am I not just not understanding what I have to do to select the spear? Whoop. Oh, okay. We can <laughs> make the screen bigger and smaller. Uh, 
mouse to aim. Hey, I'd like to get in there now. I'm just, at the moment, I'm trying different keys to see what they will do. Okay, there's the mouse. It will let you, like, hold H and click things when you're holding H for help. There's our help key there, or the uh, HUD key. Hmm, I am just... I need some food. Vagger fish. What am I... Oh, you know what? I'm, I am a complete moron, aren't I? I need the spear gun with the explosive spears, don't I? I'm just... <laughs> I'm just not putting this stuff together, am I? Okay, so this is your spear gun. And a harpoon gun. So we got enough for this. Okay, so we got the spear gun. Okay, so we can select the spear gun or the knife now. And then let's get out of here. And then now we can switch between which ammo we want to use, explosive or regular. So we've only got explosive because that's what we bought and that's what we need. Now we can shoot the door. Uh, what am I doing wrong now? Is that not what I had to do? Spear gun, explosive spears. And that's what I have selected. I am very hungry. So now I have to, <laughs> I have to run back and buy some food. Oh boy, this is not going well for me. Oh, now I'm dying. I gotta rest, I need food. Things are just not going well. Here we go, we got some food. Eat it. Okay, we ate it, we're good. We're full on food. Am I not buying the, the correct gun here? Did I actually need the harpoon gun? It's loud, but very powerful, especially with explosive spears equipped. Yep, that's what we needed. Oy vey. This does minimal damage. Use it for hunting fish and stuff. Oh boy. Okay, so we can... <laughs> Let's restart this level. Now that we know what we're doing. And this is one of those situations where... I don't, I hate putting the blame on the developer, just because this could totally just be me not paying attention, right? I mean, what am I doing? I just, I think it's one of those situations, however, where um, you associate spear with spear gun. So I, I think that's... I think that's the problem I had, at least. You know, ter terminology for games and that kind of thing, it can be uh, very important. Um, but again, it's one of those situations where I've never played the game before. Now that I've, now that I've played through some of these areas, I can tell anybody, like, Hey, uh, you know what you're going to want to do? You're going to want to go and grab the harpoon gun. That's how you're going to get through this area. If they're trial and error, you figure it out. Which might be uh, what they're going for with this game. Stuff like that, never uh, never a bad thing. So, okay, we got 53 gold. Is that enough for what we need? It's not. Because now I got the harpoon gun. But I need to buy some explosive spears, of which I do not have. I need two more pieces of gold for. So let's run back up, grab these two pieces of gold. So 
So he almost gave you exactly what you needed down here. Like there's one extra gold piece. <laughs> So make sure you get that gold, people. You're gonna need it. Don't need the food. There we go. So now we got explosive spear ammo, we got the harpoon gun. I think we're finally friggin' ready to blast open this door. It's uh, <laughs> quite a few minutes in the making, but we're gonna do it. Uh, oh, there it is. I was like, what just happened? Yeah, I'm dying. Oh, boy. I'm still dying. Okay, so this right here, I can't, I can't deal with that. Uh, let's see here. Where was that? Pretty water's fine. Particles, blah, blah, blah. Back. Was it under video? We just saw it, right? Here we go. Field of view, motion blur, and damage blur. Those are off for me. I can't, I can't deal with it. Oh no, we don't want to quit. Oh, okay, they're still happening. <laughs> I did turn them off, right? Oh boy. Um, okay, I guess we'll just keep them on. Again, don't want to quit. Oh boy, I can't. I, I don't know if I can take this. Okay, it went away. Okay, good. According to the information I, have, I think it went away. Uh, hold on. What did I miss that was back here? There was a door. Ooh, look at this, some diamonds. And another area to dive into. Oh man, it is dark. Fit through here? Can I fit through? Oh, yeah, it looks like I can. Cool. Hey, eat these fish. I need some health. Am I getting stabbed again? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Alright, guys. Well, you know what? That is, uh, that's a little over, yeah, it looks like a little over 30 minutes of Diver. Um, it's a cool little game. I, I think that uh, with a little bit more TLC, it could be something like really, really, really cool. Um, it's got voiceover, it's got cool music, it's got a great look to it. See right here, it's telling you exactly what to do and I totally didn't pay attention. However, I don't think there's a log that tells you what you're supposed to be doing. Like right there, he's telling you like you gotta go to the shop and it says buy a harpoon, buy the explosive spears, but there's no... There's nothing here that's telling you to do that, so that's that's what lost me. Um, so maybe maybe when you hit tab, there's like a little area under the scoreboard, like a quest, like current objective, that may, maybe that kind of a thing. That would really help someone like me, who's like, you know, um, once you load up a level, especially if you're doing a video for, <laughs> for a game, you know, and you're not fully paying attention because you're talking or, or whatever's going on, whatever the situation might be. Maybe your kid's yelling at you or something. I don't know. It, it would definitely help, I think, uh, to have some sort of a current objective thing up there. But regardless, yeah, this is a cool looking game. I think it's unique. Um, it, but it needs a, it does need a little bit of a, a TLC. At the moment, uh, you can you can check this game out over on uh, uh, the website that I will supply in the description. It is. Uh, you know, what, what do you want to call it? Pay what you will? Pay what you want for the game? You can download it for free, try it out if you like it, you know, kick over a few bucks to Adam and his team. Um, but when you play it, definitely think of it in a, a, a constructive way. Like, it's it's one of those things where a small team made it with a Quake engine, and, um, you know, just, just take from it what you will. I think it's a cool little fun game. Um... The things that I would list at that kind of need a, a little bit of uh, care, though, uh, which I, I think uh, would help the game along, is to list things a little bit easier. And again, I don't know if this is a Quake uh, 
you know, deficiency. I, I don't know if this is because of Quake, but the menu could stand to be bigger, or at least the text like a little prettier here. Like it, it probably looks readable on the final product, but when you get to something like say um, the controls, like this is barely legible. So I would go out of my way to make this a little bit more legible and readable for people. Um, I think I would try to make the UI a little bit more understandable. Adding this button is very helpful. However, I don't feel like it explains everything. Um, and the current objective thing, maybe uh, below the scoreboard or on the same, uh, maybe on the same page here, I'm not sure. Those are the few things I found uh, that would be great. Um, other than that, though, it's a cool, it's a cool little game. And uh, I think Adam and his team did a, a really, really cool job on this. And uh, I think it's definitely something worth checking out. So until next time, everyone.